I'm going to show you how to create an inbound Zapier webhook. So after receiving a call via the inbound phone number, you can extract that information during the call, the transcript and other information like the call duration, who was the caller and so on, and maybe push it into a CRM or use the data how we want to use it. But let me show you how to set the very first part for uh, Synflow in Zapier. The first step is to create an assistant, create assistant, choose an inbound type of assistant, wait for a second to load. Here you can name it uh, however you want. Choose a template if you want a template, it doesn't matter. You just picked one that's for the inbound here. I'm going to change that later on. Click next, you'll have to pick a phone number. Choose a phone number. Configure the campaign, add the budget to it, finish. Now the agent is finished. After that, you go under deployment and look for Zapier. Here you have the daily budget and the phone number interest. You can create a Zapier from here, directly from this interface, or you can open a new tab and to create from there. I'm going to open a new tab because it's easier for me to showcase it to you. So let me delete this uh, okay so here it's the first step that you're going to have to add is the trigger this is the only step because let me choose so here you can pick you need to write synflow pick only one i have more because i'm uh, an admin here choose this one and you have a single voice a single a single event that you can trigger which is voice phone call completed select this one continue you'll have to add your api key the api key you can find it either here or under integrations here copy that and add it there and once you've added you're going to also need the model id the model id you're going to copy from here or from here let's copy this so you copy this one uh, continue add the model id here continue and this is all to show you how it works i'm going to trigger a phone call here in the test space i'm going to show you how to capture that webhook give me one second making a call hey there how can i assist you hey uh, yeah how can you assist me? Hello, how can I assist you today? Hello. All right. So, uh, the call has been completed. Now, test trigger. Now, you should be able to find out the phone once the caller. All right, here it is. Here's a call that has been completed. You have the, the lead name, the lead phone number, uh, time zone, the call ID, call duration, the transcript and executed actions. If you added any entity extraction or bookings or stuff like that, you know if this call has made. What you can do here is you'll be going to be able to push that information anywhere. So for example, I'm just going to show you quick email. If you want to create a quick email, send email sorry all right continue here you send it to whoever and under body you can add hey uh, give me a second you have a new call you got a new call from this phone number and so the same inputs and you would have input for entity extraction so on you can add them in a crm or anything but You'll have to first trigger this one and this is all. It's quite easy. Thank you.